start the discussion on the basis. Yes, what it is meant by a base? Base, as we already discussed, the acid, the same way the base explanation also. Base also, it is one of the compound. Compound means, here, base example, I, I will give one example of the base. NaOH. NaOH means the different elements. Na is a sodium, oxygen is another element, hydrogen is another element. Due to the combination of these elements, it results sodium hydroxide. It is a one of the base. It is one of the main important component in the soap. One of the important character of this base is it is, it is having soapy feel, slippery in nature and also one another thing it is bitter in taste, bitter in taste. Then one of the important character of the base it is, bases it always contains either oxygen like CaO, oxygen only. It is one, CaO, calcium oxide it is, it is one of the base. So, it contains oxygen. Bases surely contains either oxygen or OH. OH means one oxygen and one hydrogen. Along with the oxygen, hydrogen also there. So, there is a two chances of the base definition. Base are of two types. There is a chance of if there is an oxygen alone that is also a base. If there is a Along with the hydrogen, oxygen along with the hydrogen, if it is there, that also we consider it as a base. Okay, so base is a compound. If it contains oxygen or oxygen along with the hydrogen, that is considered as a base. Character we already said, it is a soapy in feel, bitter in taste. And base, if it contains oxygen only, example I told. The calcium oxide, it is a base. It contains oxygen only. So, its name is calcium oxide. So, that type of basis we are calling the name is oxide. Oxide. Then, if the base, if it contains oxygen along with hydrogen, that OH group, OH, we are calling the name is hydroxide. That type of base we are calling the name is hydroxide. So the bases are of two types. Oxide base and hydroxide base. Oxide means only the oxygen it is present along with that particular, any other particular element. Then hydroxide bases means along with that oxygen there is also one hydrogen. So there is a two types of bases. It's the oxide and hydroxide. Then now we can discuss on the properties of bases. Properties of bases. First one. Base, it is also called in one more name, alkali. But all the bases, it is not considered as an alkali. So what is the criteria for alkali? For telling about the base and alkali character, for that we can do one experiment. NaOH you have to be take in one beaker, it is a base. In that you have to be add little water. After adding water, after some time, you check with that whether this NaOH it is remains the same or it is dissolved completely in water. NaOH normally it is in the form of pellet. Pellet means small, small, small pieces. So after the addition of water, when you check, it is completely dissolving in that water. That means it is soluble in water. So when a base, when it is dissolved completely in water, that base we can call the name it is alkali. Washing soda you have to be take. In that you have to be add water. The same situation it will be there. That means the washing soda, the salt, it is completely dissolved in this water after some time. That is why this washing soda is also considered as an alkali. But all the bases it is not considered as an alkali. Why? Because some bases it is not dissolved completely in the addition of water. Okay, so we can conclude that all the bases it's not alkali but all the alkalis are bases. Then another important property of the bases it is its corrosive character. Some of the bases it's not corrosive, but some bases they are corrosive in nature. Like acid bases also divided into two. That is strong as strong bases and weak bases. If it is a strong base, surely it is having the corrosive nature. If it is a weak base, it's not having the corrosive character. Next property it is the very important property that is neutralization character. 
न्यूट्रलाइजेशन मीन्स वेन एसिड एंड बेस जस्ट टेक लिटिल ऑफ द एसिड इन दैट वेन वी आर एडिंग एन एच दैट मीन्स एनी बेस एसिड एंड बेस वेन वी आर ट्राइंग टू मिक्स टू गे दट इट इज रिजल्टिंग एसिड यू नोज दैट वट्स द कैरेक्टर ऑफ द एसिड दैट एसिड कैरेक्टर इट इज कैंसल्ड विथ बेसिक कैरेक्टर बोथ ऑफ दम हैविंग द ऑपोजिट कैरेक्टर्स सो एज इट्स कैरेक्टर वेन वी एड विथ बेस इट विल बी नलिफाइड ईच अदर so as its character it is cancelled by a base base character it is cancelled by an acid so we can check with it nih is the base we taken here and acid is hcl so what it is happening it is that when we are taking together this acid and base they react together due to that reaction what it is happening it is that hoh this part the water water it is formed as one of the product and remaining portion you join it together that it is na portion and cl portion after removal of this water the remaining portion you just add it together that is nacl nacl you know that the table salt our curry salt that salt it, its chemical formula it is nacl its name it is salt due to the combination of this acid and base it results the salt formation plus water this is the general equation as it plus base it is equal to salt plus water right this type of a chemical reaction it is said to be the name it is neutralization next one it is uses of bases sodium hydroxide it is one of the strong base and it is used as a drain cleaners used in drain cleaners and also it is used in the manufacture of paper soap and detergents then this strong base it is dissolved in grease and helps to removing the dirt next one potassium hydroxide that is also one of the base it is used in the manufacture of soap and batteries next one it is calcium hydroxide it is its common name it is lime water it is used in the manufacture of mortar and plaster lime water in the sense not our lemon water it is the chemical form of lime water the next is ammonia ammonia is nh3 is the chemical name formula and it is used in the manufacturing of nitric acid and fertilizers so this all about the bases okay thank you